नमस्कार एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई एंड ऑन माय पर्सनल बिहाफ आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम हिज एक्सेलेंसी द एम्बेसडर ऑफ चाइना टू इंडिया ऑनरेबल लो जाओ हाई एंड हिज ऑनरेबल वाइफ मैडम जैंग इली Along with them, we have on dais the creator of this center, Shri Sudhendra Kulkarni, the president of ORF. We also have a friend of India and the Council General, His Excellency Shri Jain, and his wife, Madam. We also have along with us the Mayor of Sholapur. an academician par excellence with us madam sushila abute one of the torch bearers of the family of dr kotnis shri rajan borkar the activities at epitome in terms of contribution to public life and and administrator par excellence shri shri sumit malik ji a person whom i have known for last 20 years working for the cause of upliftment of ground trodden people of society and now one of the spokespersons of bharatiya janata party shri madhav bandari the honorable staff from the embassy of china in new delhi as well as from the office of the council general in mumbai the vice president of orf shri dhawal desai and all his colleagues from orf i have my own colleagues from various departments particularly heads of the department of economics <coughs> politics computer science a unique center in the name of confucius called confucius institute which we started about 3 years ago and the director of confucius institute and my dear colleague professor vibha surana my other colleagues from various departments of the university campus people from various colleges particularly somaya group of institutions whom we heard with a beautiful invocation though they are all academicians they also have a wonderful way of reciting and invoking the gods to bless us this morning and many citizens scholars of chinese and indian languages scholars of international relations and area studies eminent photographers and experts from media and both print and electronic media and dear citizen of mumbai as i mentioned while welcoming all of you it's a great occasion for us to welcome his excellency the ambassador of china to india for his first visit to this great city called mumbai the population of india and china collectively covers almost two thirds of the population of the world or one third i would say and besides that every field that we are talking about in terms of excellence in academia in industry or any leadership that we are talking about these two nations have provided this leadership for ages both the countries have more than 5000 years old written history and the exchange exchanges of human intelligence as well as the commodities from one part of the world to other china and india have always maintained that association which we still cherish and continue to cherish the situations at global 21st century is slightly different than what it was in the 20th century and in the 21st century world we will have to have collaboration cooperation and concentration of efforts for developing and establishing and nurturing the ties that we have had in the past we will have to develop new relations and maintain them for posterity and in this regard the neighbors of india and the neighbors of china though one part of china and india we have common boundary but the neighbors in this region 
I think we have to concentrate our efforts in becoming a force to reckon with in terms of our economy. We have to build on the power of our natural heritage and also the advantage that we have in terms of being young generation in the 21st century. As you know, India is one of the youngest nations. And despite the fact that people are looking towards India, China, Brazil, or for that matter, the BRICS countries as one of the very strong force to reckon with in terms of its contribution in the 21st century, we'll have to ensure that the exchanges between human resources and the relations at political level can only be strengthening the ties between the nations where we feel that there can be some point of brushing at a wrong side. And therefore, the efforts of this nature are extremely important. I remember one of the visits that I have had to Pakistan in 2007, where a delegation from India, including intellectuals from various fields, about 32 of them, had gone to Karachi. And Karachi was one of, one of the boundaries of the University of Mumbai in the pre-independence era. The boundaries of Mumbai University were from Karwar to Karachi. And therefore, at that stage, it was felt that the intellectuals can only bridge the gap. And bridging the nations, what we call it, at conceptual level, and you know, bringing that harmony at mind is the principal purpose of establishing ties at intellectual level. And this is the only way where we can strengthen these relations and give a message to the world that conceptually there may be some differences. But in terms of our working relationships, in terms of our joining minds and joining hearts, we are making sincere efforts. And therefore, the initiative of Shri Sudhindra Kulkarni in approaching Mumbai University to join hands with ORF and establish this continued relationship by not only initiating the effort of starting the Z Shanlin Center in the University of Mumbai, but we have gone one step ahead by deciding to establish this as a Zi Shanlin School for Chinese Studies so that it becomes a formal undergraduate and postgraduate department of the university from the coming academic year 2017-2018. And together with the Confucius Institute, <laughs> together with the Confucius Institute, we will be able to have studies in all walks of life that only strengthen the relations of countries like China and India. And therefore, I am very proud to say that this formal arrangement will come into force, come into existence within the next one month's time. And we will have an undergraduate, postgraduate department of Chinese studies named after Professor Zi Shan Lin. And we will also have an auditorium which is just adjoining uh, auditorium in the building of Rajiv Gandhi Center. And I must be uh, I must be failing in my duties if I don't mention the name of the director of Rajiv Gandhi Center, Dr. Chandra Puri, who graciously <laughs> came forward and said that this is a place where we can have this initiative. And that is how the center is now housed in the building of Rajiv Gandhi Center for Contemporary Studies. So we have had contribution from everybody in bringing this center to this stage. And I also want to acknowledge gratefully that the Reliance Foundation, who is going to be our partner in this endeavor, because it will be a tripartite arrangement to start this department with respect to its initial funding and sustenance. And we will be able to go a long way in developing our ties with everybody. So far, Delhi has been considered as the center of activities of international relation related studies. But slowly that uh, geographical point is shifting towards Mumbai. And Mumbai can now boast of having 11 universities in the city of Mumbai of state nature, deemed university nature, and private universities nature. So it is also becoming, in addition to the economic hub of the nation, the financial hub is already there, but we also are, are becoming the education hub of the nation. And there cannot be any other place than the University of Mumbai where this center can be established. This is only tribute and salute to our great Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Moji, Modi ji, who two years before today had committed while his visit to Fudan University that he would like to send, start a center in India in the name of Professor Zishan Lin. And one step ahead, our beloved 
chief minister took forward when he visited china last year and he said that he will have this center in maharashtra and we are grateful to sudindra ji and reliance foundation that mumbai university is able to take this step uh, in fulfilling the commitment of our chief minister and honorable prime minister in establishing this center in the university of mumbai so we are grateful to everybody all of you your love and affection your contribution to the city of mumbai and in this 160th year of excellence of the university of mumbai i welcome all of you once again to this unique occasion thank you very much jai hind